Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dylan Murray and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about having a day job and why do I think we need to enjoy our journey, we need to take advantage of the day job. So I work as a .NET developer right now and I'm also working as a as an indie game developer at night or in the morning. And I think one of the most powerful things that you know that occurred to me is you know having a having a day job as a full as a full stack developer. And the reason I say that is because you know finishing a game it's it's very hard. There's a lot of things that you gotta that you gotta know in order to finish something so complex from the beginning to the end. Even on a simple you know a simple game can be so complex and we don't realize that until until we start doing it. So, you know, having a day job and, and learning project management skills, you know, I had, I had opportunities to work on projects that are pretty, pretty large, and where we had a team of six people, uh, we had three developers, we had a QA person, a project manager, and then a Scrum Master. So working, working in a larger team has helped me understand all the dynamics of what is actually required to complete a game, what is actually required to complete a project. So I didn't just learn this by, by making games, I actually learned it during my day job and I apply all the project management skills, the programming skills, all of that, all of that stuff that I learned from my day job, I was actually able to carry over to my night job, which is, it's actually not a job, but it's my hobby, which is to create games. And I'm also turning that into a career and that is that is very important because you want to make sure that you know anything that you're learning anything that you're applying in a regular basis you you gotta have a vision so that vision for me was you know i'm creating websites i'm creating i'm creating back-end services in that net so every time I'm, I'm spending time in my job i'm always you know i'm making sure that i do a great job but i'm also thinking about how can i apply that long term uh, does that apply to game development? Can I use it in game development? And, and one example that I that I have that I'm that I'm pretty grateful of is I I program in .NET and in, in C Sharp. So when I when I work in the morning in C Sharp, I'm creating classes, I'm creating interfaces, I'm learning about coding patterns, I'm I'm learning about web API, web services, how to communicate from you know from a website to an API. And, and a lot of that information is very, very important because when, when I transfer that over to, to Unity and using C Sharp, there's a lot of things that I do in, you know, in the code, in the game. For example, if I, if I have to create a player class and, and it's a singleton, and let's say that I need to keep track of the score and the score is a singleton in memory, now I have, a, I have an understanding of you know, what a class is, what an object is, how do I, you know, how do I communicate between objects and and some of the data structures behind it? You know, what is a list? What is a dictionary? And so on. So I think anything that we do that can help us long term in our day job, we have to see it as an investment. So, so for example, project management. I'm I'm always asking and I'm always, you know, very very excited about working with the project management team at my work. And the main reason for that is because I'm a project manager at night. So, you know, you need to, you need to make sure that you keep track of your project, projects. And I always say that on every video. And the reason for that is because if you don't, it's really easy to just, you know, go in and, and never finish your game. And that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that we, not only we finish our game, but we're completing as much work as we can and we're efficient. Because efficiency here is very important and also not only efficiency, but also motivation. So remember, having a day job is not, you know, a lot of people, including myself, I, I, I used to think, oh, I have a day job, you know, I, I wish I could do in the in the game development full time. But we also have to think about all the learning, everything that we're learning, and we're getting paid for it. So so make sure that you leverage it, you leverage that, and then, you know, at some point in our careers, we're gonna be able to, to make that transition from, from having a day job and actually making the indie game development or full-time job, which is, you know, which is our goal. So, so make sure that you always look at it as an investment. Don't really think about, you know, 
the negative side of it, you know, go in the morning, be excited and be excited because you have a vision, because you have goals and because you're setting yourself for success. So that is, that is very, very important. So I hope this was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And again, thank you very much for watching my channel. Thank you again. This is